What's going on YouTube? Here's my everyday carry and I want to show you everything that I have and what they are and what I like about them. So up first is my Travax original 2.0 wallet. I just recently got this. You know, I fell for the price point which I think I spent $35 on this. That it was worth it compared to buying a Ridge wallet for $120. So it feels good in the hands. It's big, bulky. It doesn't slip out of my pocket like uh, the Ridge wallet would. So definitely a plus on this. This is the G10 scale. So everything is lit. Link down below in my Amazon, and all the items here will be as well. I believe this is no. Uh, this is not on Amazon as well as this battery charger. So I put this battery charger up here because this is something that I keep in my car for emergencies in case my phone doesn't charge overnight and I need to charge my phone so I feel like it's a great tool to have especially in emergencies to have a backup battery so here's my uh, organizer this is a 511 tactical I believe tech holster so this thing's a pretty interesting Thing. It has a molly system here. It has a web design so you could fit it around your belt loop like shown here or you can attach it to a backpack. So there's a lot of thought to that from uh, 511. I usually like their products. It's always pretty good. And I always wait to buy their things on sale. So here's some Velcro. It also has I believe that laser molly system. I forget what it's called but it might be that. And so you could put patches on here or I believe they have a quick disconnect system where you could just rip it off something and it comes off and you have this kit in your hand. Also you can slide things under here and I might show you that later but here's the organizer. So here this is made to hold your cell phone which is a cool feature. I don't place my cell phone here and it has the soft material so you don't mess up your screen. But behind here I have a notepad and that's just the easy simple place to keep things. And on this side I have a Gerber arm bar. So I love this tool. I don't like the price point. I paid $40 for this. There's different variations to this on you know different uh, stores or Amazon and this is the $40 one. It has a bit driver. It doesn't lock or detent into place. It just kind of free floats there. I wish it had a detent or at least locked, but it is what it is. And here's the bit driver, nice and neat. And you could also put different bits in here as well if you need to. Next up is an awe. I'm not the biggest fan of this tool. I hardly ever use it or have a reason to use it. And then here's the scissors. They're a little awkward, and I would say these are. So here are the scissors and then you have to rotate it open to get them, get them to function. And then this is as far as the spring goes on the scissors. And if you want more, you have to manually open it more to cut. So that is it for, you know, the scissors. Not too big of a fan, but it has done the jobs like uh, elastic blend, uh, bands, paper, and zip ties. It's done fine. Here's the knife that comes on there. This does lock into place. I did have to sharpen this out of the box. It wasn't the sharpest thing I've ever seen in my life. And then here is a hammer or a pry bar or a bottle opener which is a cool feature. I like the little hammer features. Every now and then you'll have a nail sticking out somewhere where you want to hit it in but don't have any tools with you to do that. And I love pairing this tool because it has the bit driver with the uh, Cobra or Nipex Cobra SX. These are a, I believe they're four inches by an inch and a half. Very small plier, but they work very well. I've held on to different size bolts and it's done its job fine. I did wonder about the cutouts here. This is my first pair of pliers with this type of cutout, and it does perfectly fine. Holds on to bolts really well. It has some fine adjustment here for different bolt sizes. I would say if you're a plumber or work, work HVAC or something with different bolts all the time, this is a great tool for you. I want to say it's the best tool for me, even though it has gotten some use. <clears throat> 
Here's the Streamlight MicroStream. I've had this for about two years now. You can see some of the wear and tear on here. And it's been a great overall flashlight. It is rechargeable. I believe it's an hour and a half on high for the battery and three hours on low, which is great for how small. So I need to charge this maybe every month or every other month because you know you only need it for so much maybe going into a dark room. I work construction as a framer and carpenter or a finished carpenter and you know I have to use a lot of tools all the time in different scenarios so I usually like carrying a utility knife with me. A utility knife is great for opening up boxes or fine uh, cutting of different material and scoring material so great uh, utility knife this is the Gerber pry braid and phenomenal little tool it does have a rope cutter as well as a little pry bar that is functional it you can get down and pry up some pry bars out there are just straight up flat and I don't see what you're prying with that thing it also does have a bottle opener and it looks like a little loop for a lanyard Oh, another fact about this, it has this metal all the way through, so it, it's very durable product. Here I have a Milwaukee Sharpie. There's nothing special about this. I always just buy them. Great Sharpie to have, especially marking different material if you need to. Here I have a Norwalco pen. This is about, it comes two pens with two extra fillers for $10. And for something that's three and a half inches, it works well. And for the price point, you can't complain, especially with some of the EDC pens out there costing $90. I don't see a need to spend that much. If I can get this out, here is, oh, I should have probably taken the lighter out, but here is uh, Apple AirPods. I always like listening to music, and it's always nice not having a cord dangling on you. I've had these for who knows six years now so great headphones I have a small lighter in here and you know some medical stuff so hand sanitizer uh, what is this small band-aid butterfly closure and a bigger band-aid and they're all sealed up because you know I tend to sweat at work and be in different environments with the rain and things like that and it just keeps them safe where I can actually use them when needed then here I have a small roll of duct tape. I believe this is about three feet or so, or two feet. And I have three small zip ties on there. I have some latex gloves. I believe that is it for the pouch. But here you can see on the organizer, it has three elastic bands there. One large pocket and two divided pockets on the top. So great overall organizer it's not the most compact but it is great for a belt or a backpack just for the versatility of the uh, molly back here and if you do wear this on your belt it folds down and it won't flop over so you can actually have a little table here to put your gear or whatever you're organizing here one of my loops came off so is what it is but thanks for watching this video make sure to hit the subscribe button and check out the amazon links down below it helps out my channel but thanks for watching i'll see you guys later